I've got three or four different designs for balloon racers that I use in primary schools, uh, depending on the age of the children. Uh, this is the simplest one. Um, I use my favourite material, Corex, um, but you could just as easily use um, cardboard. Um, I like Corex because it comes in two thicknesses. Uh, this is 4mm thick, this is 3mm thick. Conveniently the 3mm thick slides inside the flutes of the 4mm. It's very useful. Um, using a craft knife and a safety ruler of course, always on a safety mat. If you cut halfway through, or just score it, it will then fold beautifully for making hinges. So it's a very useful material and sticky tape right, sticks to it really well and lasts a long time. Um, you need a piece of Corex about this big um, and I've punched a hole with my trusty hole punch that's j uh, about just under one centimetre in diameter. That measurement is quite important. Um, uh, larger than that the balloon will fly out. Smaller than that the air won't escape uh, quickly enough and it won't create enough force to move your balloon racer. Um, we next score it like I did before. We need, we need to score it about two thirds of the way along like this. So I'm not cutting all the way through I'm just scoring it and then we can fold it. Just needs a bit of help there to get a really nice fold to get that sort of shape. We next support this upright with a, um, a right angle triangle and we're going to stick that on with sticky tape. We could use a glue gun. Just fold the tape up. Stick that side down first and then we can put another piece on there and stick that there. Only need one triangle. There we are. Not very straight, but it will do. Next we're going to put the um, straws on for the wheels. Uh, these are uh, jumbo plastic straws, 6.5mm diameter. Um, all these materials are available from my shop and I can supply this piece of Corex cut to size, folded and with the hole punched in. So I like to put two bits of tape on each straw. Try not to squash the straw because an axle is going to run through it. Try and get them parallel. And another one up near the other end. Two. Then we're going to cut these straws back with scissors to leave just a little bit sticking out, just a few millimetres sticking out at the edge. I use straws this way for most of my wheeled vehicles and I always leave a bit sticking out to stop the wheel from scraping on the side. Um, for the wheels, again available from my shop, um, they have, it has a 4mm hole and we're going to use 4mm dowel. Uh, sometimes it's a tight fit, sometimes it's a loose fit, that's just about perfect. We're going to slide through and Get another wheel and push that on the other end. Push them together but don't scrunch them up, leave a little gap. Make sure they spin really well. Same again the other side. And there we go. And the whole thing should be very, very free running. You should be able to blow it along. And then finally we fit the balloon. Um, it always helps to stretch a balloon. Makes it a little bit easier to blow up. Obviously very young children will almost certainly need, need a balloon pump to help them blow the balloon up. Uh, we clear the decks a bit. There we go. And I predict it's going to go that way. Let's see what happens. <laughs> 